maybe some people like sing while having sex. I don't know, <laughs> but it like kind of rarely happened. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Uh, Miss Cozyard, good to see you again. How are you? Good to see you. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing so great. Sorry my dog is barking in the distance, but she's a big fan of yours, so she just wanted well, to say I that. have two helicopters coming around, so <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's part of this. It's part of this. Well, I have a thousand questions for you, so I'm going to jump right in. You know, I, I read a fascinating quote from you where you said that you don't choose the characters you play, that the characters choose you. So I'm sort of curious, <laughs> why do you think Anne chose you, and is there a character that was difficult to figure out why she chose you in your career? Well, yeah, I really, I really feel that way uh, still. And um, I think I became an actor because I'm fascinated by human beings and I need to explore uh, more than myself. And, um, but sometimes you have like a deep connection with a character and the connection there was um, one of the themes of the movie is the need of recognition the need of recognition that we all have, but especially when you're an artist, this need is so deep that you need to be heard and looked at and loved by many people you will never ever meet, which is a question that I had, that I've had, ha, that I had had in my life uh, for a long time. And, um, and I think that's why um, Annette came, uh, Anne came to me to explore uh, e deeper what is why do I need to have this recognition it's it's a fascinating question you know and, and the double-edged sword of being an actor is that the more successful you are the bigger your films are and, and the more awards you win the more the fame that comes from that could cause you to to lose your privacy now you seem like despite the fact that helicopters are flying around you, you seem like a fairly private person so i'm sort of curious before each project how much do you concern yourself with how the film and the fame that could come from it could potentially impact your own personal privacy or your own personal life i never think about that i've never thought about that um, what's interesting is that when you're in a very successful movie and that your fame is rising, um, then it should, in a way, fulfill that need of recognition. But when you're back home alone, the need is still super vibrant. And uh, I came to that point because it's a big question in my life that all the recognition that I can have outside myself I mean, it feels really good, but it won't stop this need that is sometimes a pathology and that it, that is sometimes dev devouring. Is, it, is that mm -hmm. a right sure, word? Sure, sure, yeah, 100%. Devouring. And, um, and so my journey with this question and with my own need of recognition took me to that point where I thought if I don't, have it in myself if i'm not the one who has recognition for myself then this need will always be there and 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 kind of toxic sometimes that makes sense well they give me the wrap but i wanted to ask very quickly before we go uh yeah i was wanted to talk about the singing live on set in particular in regards to uh, scenes of intimacy when, when you're shooting passionate scenes they're already complicated because you want to make sure everyone feels safe and everyone feels comfortable that you're in the right headspace for the characters. And then you add live singing into the mix. I'm sort of curious how much more complicated does live singing make shooting scenes of passion and intimacy? Well, it brings a lot of fun <laughs> and a lot of humor because honestly, we were in situations and where singing is like, it's, yeah, as you said, it's, all, it's already kind of awkward. Uh, even though um, it, everything was like organized for us to feel comfortable. And, and really, I had the chance to work with Adam Driver, who's 
who's an amazing human being. And uh, he takes care of people. He really uh, always, uh, you know, look around to see if everybody's comfortable. And uh, so that was, I was very lucky to, 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 to have him, you know, for uh, those uh, very special and, and, and weird scenes. But the singing just add a lot of fun because I mean, it never, I mean, maybe some people like sing while having sex I don't know but it like kind of rarely happen so it was also amazing to um to be in situations that you will never be in in, in real life and also this movie I I did things that I had never done before and that I will probably never do again and that's what I want on a project. It's to experience the unknown, to experience new things. And I was, I, I mean, we had a, like a lot of that uh, on that project, which, which was really, really uh, amazing. Well, I absolutely could tell. Ms. Cotillard, you are absolutely one of the greatest actresses of our time today. So I cannot, I know you have a very busy schedule, so I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with me. And, and my dog says hello, and I hope you and your family are doing very well. Yeah, well, hello to your dog. <laughs> Take Thank care. You Have a great day.